All right, all right. I know just a little while ago, this is going at me, by the way, average is failure, right? Don't settle for being average. But listen, I know I told some of you all in just in the previous video that you need to shut up, <laughs> right? Stop talking and just do the work. But there are others of us who, there are certain things that we believe and that we're wanting and that we're hoping and praying for, but we don't speak it. It's like we're scared to, to make mention of it. And so while there are some people who need to just be quiet and make the work happen, there are other people who need to begin open up, opening up their mouths and start speaking it. Why? Because you need to start, sometimes we don't speak certain things because we know that if we start talking about it and if we start saying it and if we start sharing the idea with other people, other people now are going to begin holding us accountable, which means that now the pressure is on to do what we said we would do, right? To accomplish what we said that we believe that we would, we would like to accomplish. And so there, for some of you, you haven't been talking about it. And watch, this is some of the other things that happen. This is another thing that happens when you don't talk about it. Sometimes there are people that could help you to either sort your thoughts or there's somebody who's been looking for somebody to help or to invest in in some way, shape or form to help them to get to the point that they would like to reach. But because you have not been speaking about it, you are not like and keeping it to yourself. Nobody knows. And so no, there's nobody that can help you to get to that particular goal. And the reason why I'm even talking about this is because um, the, I'm an assistant pastor, the senior pastor of our church, Dr. Roland Hill. Shout out, um, man, just an awesome man of God. One of the things that he said um, in a sermon that he was given once was, or just, not that he said, but he referred to this text. And the text says that we believe, therefore we spoke, right? And so watch this. What it's saying is that because I believe this thing, I will speak it. Right. And some of you, you believe it or you say that you believe it. But really and truly, you, you, you have some doubts because the reason why you're not saying it is because you feel like it might not happen. And then if it doesn't happen, people are going to laugh at you or whatever. Right. But I want you to get to this point or get to this place where you believe it. Now begin to speak it. Why? Because there is something about when you have people holding you accountable that gives you the drive to now go after and get certain things done. All right. There is something to not just trying to do everything. We weren't designed to try to do everything on our own. Right. But sometimes we need to open our mouths and so that we can receive the help that we need to receive in order to get to the goal that we believe that God has for us to get to. So, listen, we believed and therefore we spoke. All right. So don't be afraid, you know, within the right context to begin opening up your mouth. And speaking it and speaking what you believe. All right. Don't be afraid to. And I believe that as you begin to speak it and as you continue believing, it'll begin coming into fruition. Right. And you'll start bearing fruit and seeing the fruit that you've been planting the seeds for all along. Right. But you got to get to the point where you're willing to speak it. Right. And that we're talking about faith because faith is the substance of things. Hopeful. I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. But and but it's also the evidence of things not seen. And sometimes some people you don't want to some of you don't want to speak. Some of us sometimes don't want to speak on certain things until we see the evidence of it. But sometimes you'll never see the you'll never see it come into real life. Right. It'll never actually happen until you begin speaking. That's the beauty. Of, well, I'm not even going to give it away. But in, in maybe I think the next video is going I'm going to be talking about that, about faith and, and faith being substance and faith being evidence. Right. But what, whether you're spiritual or not spiritual. All right. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I'll talk to you guys again in a bit.